Hello, everyone. Welcome. This is Tiffany, and I'm Laura. Hi. So, Laura, do you like playing games? It could be board games、uh-huh. or computer games or video games. Oh, okay. So, when we talk about games, 游戏当然有很多种。可是我个人对 video games 还好。Maybe the ones on my cell phone, like. Really easy ones like、mm-hmm. Candy Crush or Soda Crush, 对不对 But I think I'm really into board games. 我还蛮喜欢玩桌游诶 Oh, me too.、Mm. What is your favorite board game? Do you know there's this one called Dixit? 就是说书人、oh, That one's really fun. Yeah, I played that before. And it's really fun, especially when you have a huge group of friends. 就是人越多玩越好玩 I like playing Jenga. Oh. It's not really a board game, but then Jenga is really fun, and usually、yeah. I think the classics like Monopoly or Scrabble are also、mm-hmm. very fun as well. So Jenga, 叠叠乐也是 Tiffany 非常喜欢的 So are we talking about games today? We are, and actually this one is a computer game.、Oh. So I think maybe this one could be quite interesting for、okay. you. We can give it a try. Okay, so let's take a look. Where is the airport? Tina is on the computer. Daryl walks into the room to see what Tina is up to. Are you playing around with Google Street View again? No, my brother told me about a website. It's called Map Crunch. It's a game. How do you play it? The website drops you in the middle of nowhere. The goal is to find your way to the airport. That doesn't sound easy. Can we give it a try? Sure. Before we begin, we can select a country from the list, or we can get the website to choose a country for us. Since it's our first time, maybe we should start with our home country, Taiwan. Good idea. Let's see how well we know Taiwan. Goal. Goal. My goal is to become a doctor when I grow up. My goal is to become a doctor when I grow up. Airport. Airport. Tom likes to go to the airport to watch airplanes. Tom likes to go to the airport to watch airplanes. Select, select. You can select a language from the menu when you use this app. You can select a language from the menu when you use this app. List, list. My mom always makes a shopping list before she goes to the supermarket. My mom always makes a shopping list before she goes to the supermarket. Okay, our article first starts off with、um, describing the scene.、Mm-hmm. Tina is on the computer. Daryl walks into the room to see what Tina is up to. Okay,、mm. so when you ask、um, someone what are they up to, it just means what are you doing. We can also say what's up. I know a lot of us say this now, and then even、um, you can shorten it to sup. Ooh, <laughs> sup. OK，、yeah. 好，所以一开始呢，我们看到我们课文今天是一个对话哦。那我们先来看一下场景呢，就是哦 ，Tina 她正在用电脑，然后 Daryl 走到房间里看看，哎，这个 Tina 在做什么？那刚刚大家我们又听到，就是 Tiffany 老师有提到或是补充到说，刚刚课文说，呃、uh, ，Daryl walks into the room to see what Tina is。Up to, 像我们口语常常会说 What are you up to? 其实就是说，哎，你在干嘛 ？What are you doing? 或者是你在忙着做些什么？那其实类似的句型还有 What's up? OK， 就是如果你应该常听到很多人讲这句话吧。那再更口语一点，我们直接把它缩成 S U P sup， right？ 
So sup. All right. So next in the article, Daryl says, "Are you playing around with Google Street View again?" Okay. When you play around with someone, something. Sorry, it means that you're trying to figure out what it is or what this thing does. So maybe when you play with Google Street View, it just means maybe you're looking up addresses and you're looking to see what it is like in person. Oh my gosh! Is there a stalker? <laughs> Maybe. He's just trying to find. He's just trying to find out who he likes to live with. He's just kidding. So creepy. <laughs> 好啦 ，Daryl. 这时候，哦、oh, ，no no， 不是 Daryl， 是 Tina， 有可能很恐怖哦。Mm. So Daryl 在问 Tina 说：“哎，你是不是又在玩这个 Google Street View 是什么呢？”哎，如果大家有用 Google Map 就知道，其实它有个功能是可以看街景服务，就是刚刚我们提到的 Google Street View。OK， 那当然，他刚刚用到了这个片语 play。Around with something, 就是可能呃，就是在玩玩看看这个东西是在干什么的这样子的意意思哦。所以呢，他很好奇，到底 Tina， 哎，他可以玩这个街景服务玩这么久吗 ？Is that what she's playing around with? Hmm. Alright. So Tina says, "No, my brother told me about a website. It's called Map Crunch. It's a game." So when we talk about a website, it's just an online address.、It、usually starts with www. Short for World Wide Web, then a dot or period, and then the address name, and then dot com or dot net or dot whatever. Hmm. Okay. So Tina, 好险她不是想要偷看谁住在哪里哦。她说不是啦，我弟弟告诉我一个 website， 也就是网站哦。那这个网站是叫做 Map Crunch。哦，那原来是一个什么呢 ？It's a game， 是个网页游戏耶。那刚刚我提到 website 是网站，所以通常我们看到有什么 www， 然后。点，然后网址 ，blah blah blah 之类的哦，就是某一个网站，像是呢，我个人很常去逛的网站。My favorite website is YouTube. Ah, that's my favorite as well. Cool. <laughs> so I wonder what kind of game this is. So Laura, um, are you good at geography, by the way? Ah, geography, 地理，我超弱的。I'm terrible at it. 而且我还是个大路痴。I have no sense of direction.、Mm. What about you, Tiffany? I think、um, I'm pretty okay with reading a map <gasps>、okay. as long as I know where I am. Because I, I used、Google、to,、map. yeah, I I depend on that a lot. But I used to like watching a game called Where in the World Is Carmen San Diego. It's an American game from the '90s. So I think because、mm. of this game, my geography is kind of okay. <laughs> oh, 是哦，所以其实这我记得这个游戏我有印象，它好像中文是翻译成神偷卡门之类的。Yeah. Okay, 然后。它是在美国九零年代非常流行的游戏耶 ！Wow. Yeah. All right. So next in the article, Daryl says, "How do you play it?" Okay. 那当然就是 Daryl 可能没有听过 Map Crunch。他说：“哎，那要怎么玩呢？” Mm, Tina says the website drops you in the middle of nowhere. The goal is to find your way to the airport. Okay, so we look at our first word power word goal. It's a noun and it means something that you hope to achieve. For example, many of us make goals for ourselves for the new year. Hmm. Okay, 我们来看一下 Tina 这时候就解释，就是说这个网站呢，在一开始会把你丢在怎么样地图上的无人烟之处。听起来好险是个游戏，要不然蛮恐怖。那目标要做什么呢？就是要想办法找到机场。Okay. 那我们这里看到片语 in the middle of nowhere， 就是比较偏僻的地方，就是无人烟之处。那刚刚提到的 goal, g o a l， 这个名词呢，其实就是目标的意思。像是如果你要达到一个目目标，你可以说 achieve a goal， 像是新年的时候，我们可能就是想要怎么样，可能想要瘦身啦，或者是成绩拿到好一点啊之类的。嗯、mm. ，So next, let's take a look at our sample sentence. It says, "My goal is to become a doctor when I grow up." My goal is to become a doctor when I grow up. Okay, 刚刚的例句就是我长大后的目标就是要当医生。嗯、mm. ，We also saw another word power word here called airport. Airport. It's a noun, and it's a place where planes take off and land. This place connects people to different cities. 刚刚的嗯、呃、句子当中，我们有还看到另外一个单字，就是 airport. A I R P O R T. 当然就是机场的意思。那机场当然就是飞机会怎么样 take off 起飞或者是降落 land 的地方啦。那其实很多飞机也会在机场 airplane 当然就是飞机啦。Mm-hmm. Let's take a look at our sample sentence. Tom likes to go to the airport to watch airplanes. 
Tom likes to go to the airport to watch airplanes. Okay, Tom 喜欢去机场看飞机 All right, so next, Daryl then says that doesn't sound easy. Can we give it a try? 没错 ，Daryl 跟我想法一样，他觉得呃听起来好像不是很简单呢。他就说，我们要不要试一次呢？这里当我们看到 give it a try or give something a try， 就是尝试做什么事情，像是我想要尝试高空弹跳。I've always wanted to try bungee jumping. <gasps> I'm、should、scared I, of that. Should I give it a try? Go for it.、Okay. I su- I'll support you from the side. <laughs> I'll take pictures for you, <laughs> but I can't do it. All right. So next, Tina then says, "Sure. Before we begin, we can select a country from the list, or we can get the website to choose a country for us." Okay. So the game first starts off with selecting a country from a list. Okay. What does select mean? S e l e c t. Select. It's a verb. It means to mark. Or choose something, so it can be on the computer or even at a restaurant. You can pick the things you like or want. Okay. 接着呢 ，Tina 就说：“好啊，好啊，那我们来试试看哦。”她说：“在我们开始前，我们可以从这个清单上选一个国家。OK， 呃、uh, ，不然呢，他们也可以让这个网站随机帮他们挑一个国家哦。嗯、hmm, ，OK， 这里我们提到了 select 这个动词 ，S E L E C T， 就是挑选。当然，另外我们也可以用 choose 来表示选择，或者是 pick 也可以哦。” Mm. And our sample sentence is: You can select a language from the menu when you use this app. You can select a language from the menu when you use this app. Okay, 当你用这个 app 就是应用程式的时候，你可以在选单里面选择你的语言。注意，不是 app， 是 app. Right. Okay. So <clears throat> Tina says that we can pick. Or select a country from a list. Now, what is a list? List is spelled L-I-S-T. It's a noun, and it's basically a set of things, like a set of numbers, a set of names, and is usually written below one another. Okay, 我们来看一下，刚刚还提到了 list 这个嗯、um, 名词，它是清单的意思。像是如果你要邀请一些来宾到你家，你当然需要一个 guest list， 就是来宾的名单。或者有时候呢，如如果有人说，哎，这个可能你喜欢的书有哪些，你可以说 ，OK， 那我给你 a list of my favorite books， 我就可以给你看，参考一下我最喜欢的书有哪些，我可以列清单。Mm, so, for example, some people have a to-do list. So it's just the things that they need to do or get done for the day. Hmm, this I also like. Ah, is to write down the things that to do list. Or if I travel abroad, I might do a checklist. I want to check my things that I have not brought. That's right. Okay, our sample sentence is: My mom always makes a shopping list before she goes to the supermarket. My mom always makes a shopping list before she goes to the supermarket. 我妈妈总是会做一个 shopping list， 就是购物清单，在她去这个 supermarket 超市之前哦。嗯、mm. ，There then Daryl then says, since our since it's our first time, maybe we should start with our home country, Taiwan. I was thinking the same thing. 如果我要玩的话， yeah. 我会跟 Daryl 一样，就是因为第一次玩，如果到一个很很很奇怪或者很大的国家 ，like Africa， 我就惨了。<laughs> 我可能找不到，我可能会想要跟动物玩，没有啦，开玩笑。Yeah. 所以从自己的国家台湾开始，会可能比较简单。Yeah, so Tina says good idea. 嗯哼，当然 Tina 就觉得哎，这个主意听起来不错哦。So Daryl then says, let's see how well we know Taiwan. 不过没错，这也是可以考考你们，我们到底对台湾有多熟悉哦。嗯、mm. ，All right, so let's take a short break first, and we'll be right back. All right, so we see that、uh, Map Crunch is a fun kind of game that kind of tests、um, how well you know your geography. And then、um, we see here that Tina and Daryl are going to try、um, finding out where the airport is in Taiwan first. Wow, that sounds really tough. 我觉得听起来好难哦。他觉得好像在考验我的 geography， 就像刚我们之前提到的，就是地理或者是 sense of direction， 就是方向感。那但是呢，我又想要挑战一下哎。其实我觉得我今天可能会上网去看这个 Map Crunch. So you guys can give it a try too, and、mm-hmm. maybe you can start from either Taiwan or somewhere challenging. If you think you're great at, you know, telling where you are, 就是如果你觉得你的方向感不错的话，搞不好呢，你就可以去挑战 Africa. <laughs> <laughs> and then you can tell us how it went. 
Mm-hmm. All right, so that's it for today. I'm Tiffany, and I'm Laura. We'll see、Goodbye. you guys next time. Bye. Sorry to bother you, but you keep falling asleep on my shoulder. Sorry to bother you, but you keep falling asleep on my shoulder. Hello, everyone. This is Alvi. 哎，大家坐车啊，或是坐飞机的时候，有没有常常遇到一些有趣，嗯，应该是说丢脸的事呢？例如说下阶梯踩空啊，把手没扶好，差点跌倒，还踩到隔壁的人脚，或是睡着睡在别人陌生人身上了。不瞒你说，这些事全部都是我真实发生过的。有一次真的很夸张，我那时候真的超累，坐公车就不小心睡死了，结果呢，被旁边的人这样轻轻把我点起来，还很客气的说。不好意思打扰你，但你一直睡在我的肩膀上。没错，就是今天要教大家的小聚会。Sorry to bother you, but you keep falling asleep on my shoulder. Sorry to bother you, but you keep falling asleep on my shoulder. 天哪，我跟你讲，我当下真的超想按下车铃，但没有办法，因为在高速公路上面，真的超丢脸的、啊。人家想说我跟他是多熟，女生就算喽，还是男生。好了 ，OK， 回到我们句子里面 ，bother 这个字很常用到哦，是打扰的意思。不要跟 brother 兄弟搞混啦。Sorry to bother you， 完整的说不好意思打扰你，或者你也可以简短的直接说 excuse me， 然后怎么样怎么样的。句中的 keep 加上 v i n g 是指持续的在做什么事情。For example， Why does the girl keep staring at me？ 为什么那个女的一直盯着我看呢、啊？呃，是要吓死谁呀、啊？所以。之后呢？如果又遇到这样的状况，没关系，不要害羞。你也可以轻轻的点一下你隔壁那个睡在你肩膀上的朋友，说 ：“Sorry to bother you, but you keep falling asleep on my shoulder。”不过大家自己就看状况喽。如果是帅哥美女的话，嗯，我可能会让他继续躺了。好啦，不开玩笑了，今天的小聚会就到这里为止喽。See you, bye. Sorry to bother you, but you keep falling asleep on my shoulder. Sorry to bother you, but you keep falling asleep on my shoulder. Chit chat. Lala, what are you finding? You're looking for something. Oh, you should say, so "What are you looking for?" That find is also looking for something. 我、哦、用钥匙哎 ，I'm looking for a key。没错，就是打开这本日记的钥匙。哦，这一定是表姐的日记，好想看看里面有什么秘密哦。嗯，刚刚我说的 ，I'm looking for a key。Look for 就是寻找的意思啦。所以常常如果我们看到人家在找东西，可能就想要帮忙，就会说 What are you looking for？ 而回答呢，就要说 I'm looking for 后面接你要找的东西。当然喽，不一定只能用在找东西、找人的时候，也可以用到这样的句子。I'm looking for somebody. Have you seen him or her? OK， 那像前阵子，嗯，我男朋友的狗狗花花不见了。He looked everywhere for his dog, but luckily we found it. 啊，大家是不是很疑惑，为什么用到 look for 还有 find 这两个不都是一样的意思吗？错，其实啊 ，look for 就是刚刚说的找的意思，而 find 却是找到的意思，所以不能搞错哦。所以呢 ，find 几乎我们看到都是过去式 found 来表示已经找到了什么，像是 I found my boyfriend's dog。所以呢，可想而知，如果要用 finding 来表示的话，逻辑上会很怪哦。听听看 ，I'm finding my boyfriend's dog， 我正在找到男朋友的狗，是不是很怪呢？ Lala, what are you looking for? Oh, it's okay, it's okay. I found it already. Ah,、oh, 真的吗？ Mm. 你找到了？那你可不可以帮我找？啊，找什么？就是我要买一本是交给你啊，只是我忘记放哪里了。What did we learn from Teacher Laura? 所以 look for 是找 find， 却是找到，所以通常 find 我们都不会用现在进行式，而是用过去式。I found it. Where is the airport? 
Tina is on the computer. Daryl walks into the room to see what Tina is up to. Are you playing around with Google Street View again? No, my brother told me about a website. It's called Map Crunch. It's a game. How do you play it? The website drops you in the middle of nowhere. The goal is to find your way to the airport. That doesn't sound easy. Can we give it a try? Sure. Before we begin, we can select a country from the list, or we can get the website to choose a country for us. Since it's our first time, maybe we should start with our home country, Taiwan. Good idea. Let's see how well we know Taiwan. Goal. Goal. My goal is to become a doctor when I grow up. My goal is to become a doctor when I grow up. Airport. Airport. Tom likes to go to the airport to watch airplanes. Tom likes to go to the airport to watch airplanes. Select, select. You can select a language from the menu when you use this app. You can select a language from the menu when you use this app. List, list. My mom always makes a shopping list before she goes to the supermarket. My mom always makes a shopping list before she goes to the supermarket.